Welcome to today's detailed discussion on the Karen Reed murder trial, which has recently captivated national attention. The trial centers around Karen Reed, accused of the second-degree murder of her boyfriend, Boston Police Officer John O'Keefe. As we dive into this case, we'll examine the arguments presented by both the prosecution and the defense, the evidence at hand, and the public's reaction to this high-profile trial. The prosecution asserts that Karen Reed, driven by anger and intoxicated, intentionally struck O'Keefe with her SUV, leading to his death. They cite her own words, reportedly repeated multiple times at the scene, I hit him. These statements were allegedly heard by several first responders and witnesses. According to the prosecution, this evidence, coupled with her behavior on the night of the incident, supports their case. Conversely, the defense argues that Reed is innocent, claiming she is the victim of an elaborate cover-up orchestrated by those present at the scene, including police officers and friends. They suggest O'Keefe was beaten to death inside the house and his body was later placed outside to frame Red. Defense attorney Alan Jackson highlighted discrepancies in the evidence, pointing out the lack of physical damage to the SUV and inconsistencies in witness testimonies. During the closing arguments, the prosecution emphasized the alleged statements by Reed and her failure to call 911 after discovering O'Keefe was missing. They painted a picture of a tumultuous relationship and a calculated act of violence. In contrast, the defense focused on the alleged cover-up, accusing investigators of manipulating evidence and pointing to alternative suspects, including those at the party where O'Keefe was last seen alive. The jury, consisting of six men and six women, began deliberations on Tuesday afternoon after nearly two months of testimony. Despite several hours of discussion, they adjourned for the day without reaching a verdict. This case has seen a substantial amount of public interest, with supporters of Reed gathering outside the courthouse, some wearing pink to symbolize their support. Tweets from WBZ-TV's Penny Kmit and other reporters have documented the scene outside the courthouse, showing the large crowd chanting, Free Karen Reed, and the significant media presence. These social media updates have provided real-time insights into the trial's atmosphere and public sentiment. The defense's narrative of a cover-up involves Massachusetts State Police Trooper Michael Proctor, who is accused of having close ties to the Albert family and allegedly framing Reed. Text messages from Proctor, described as derogatory and unprofessional, were brought into question, though the prosecution argued they do not affect the investigation's integrity. Throughout the trial, witnesses provided varying accounts of the night of O'Keefe's death. The defense highlighted inconsistencies in these testimonies, such as the plow driver's statement that he did not see a body on the lawn where O'Keefe was found. This discrepancy was used to support their claim of a cover-up. The prosecution countered these claims by pointing out the lack of evidence supporting an altercation inside the house and the absence of anyone else's DNA on O'Keefe. They maintained that the data from Reed's vehicle, showing her reversing at speed, aligns with their theory of the crime. The judge's instructions to the jury emphasized the importance of impartiality and the need to base their decision solely on the evidence presented. As deliberations continue, the public remains divided, with strong opinions on both sides of the case. Now, let's address some common questions regarding this trial. What are the charges against Karen Reed? Karen Reed faces charges of second-degree murder, manslaughter while operating under the influence, and leaving the scene of personal injury and death. What is the defense's main argument? The defense argues that Red is innocent and is being framed for O'Keefe's death, which they claim occurred inside the house due to a fight. What evidence does the prosecution rely on? The prosecution relies on Reed's alleged statements at the scene, data from her SUV, and the timeline of events leading to O'Keefe's death. What role does Trooper Michael Proctor play in the defense's argument? Proctor is accused by the defense of being involved in the cover-up due to his close ties with the Albert family and his unprofessional text messages. What is the public's reaction to the trial? There is significant public interest, with many supporters rallying for Reed's innocence outside the courthouse and on social media. How did the jury begin their deliberations? The jury started deliberations after the closing arguments, working for several hours before adjourning without a verdict on the first day. What is the significance of the plow driver's testimony? 
The plow driver's testimony is crucial for the defense, as he claimed not to see a body on the lawn, supporting the cover-up theory. What did the prosecution say about the alleged cover-up? The prosecution dismissed the cover-up theory, stating there is no evidence to support a fight or anyone else's DNA on O'Keefe. What instructions did the judge give to the jury? The judge instructed the jury to remain impartial, use common sense, and base their decisions solely on the evidence. What are the possible outcomes of the trial? The jury could find Reed guilty of the charges, not guilty, or they could be unable to reach a verdict, leading to a mistrial. In conclusion, the Karen Red trial has been a complex and highly charged case, with strong arguments from both sides. As the jury continues its deliberations, the public and media closely watch for the outcome. For more updates and detailed coverage, stay tuned to our channel.